Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm returning with another video on the Model Farm Diorama. So today on the farm, there's not much going on, but there's a few uh, little jobs going on and you know a few things happening. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'll get the old camera out and uh, film a bit of a video for you. So, start all the way up the top here. We've got some new arrivals. Look in the shed that we built. Uh, we've got two new calves that I've carved from our suckler herd, beef suckler herd. Uh, so, yeah, there's four in there all together. And two of them have calved and two of them haven't. Um, so, yeah, uh, the 1494 and the straw chopper bedded them down. And, uh, yeah, they're in now. So the first of carving has started. And I'd say probably by springtime they'll be, uh, We've well, we hopefully would have finished carving. Not all of them are carving springtime. We've got a few, I think about maybe 10 carving during summer. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Here then we've got the 6R, uh, which is back on the splitter and the shear grout. If you've seen last episode, was taking bales to the outer farm. Uh, she's splitting a few bales here that we got from the silage bales um, stack. And it's just splitting two bales there. Two will be way more than enough. And uh, one would probably be enough, but, you know... Um, yeah, and then we've got the cattle crush there. So yeah, and then moving on here, Manitou's packed up, Case is packed up, all the attachments and whatever there. Sheep, they'll be coming in now. Next, well, next episode you see they'll probably be in ready for lambing. Um, because yeah, it is getting really wet out there. Uh, Marshall bale trailer packed up, and then we've got the bale stack, of course. That is going down very quick, well... Yeah, pretty quick. Um, we're definitely using a lot more of the bales this year than last year. Um, shed of machines there. Nothing really much going on there. Muck trailer. TM is parked up on the plough. Um, shed there. Uh, Plaza is still parked up from the last episode. And then here we've got the JCB digger, which you would have seen last episode was out on a job. We finished that job. It was only a three-day job, um, wasn't too bad. And, yeah, she's back at the farm now, so you can see she's in the slurry lagoon. Um, or on the outside, sorry. And it's just pushing the lagoon, or pushing the dung a bit where some of the drier stuff is piling up. And uh, it's getting a bit harder to scrape now because we're not, you know, it's not pushing itself out. So we've got the digger there just pushing the, the dung out a bit. Um, so it's a bit easier to scrape and whatnot. It is piling up a bit. And listen, if the ground was dry and would allow us, we'd be out tanking right now. But it's just there's no point trying. Otherwise, we'll be spending all of our spring springtime chain hiring, rolling, levelling out all the ruts we've and mess we've made. So it's not worth it. Seven four thirty obviously is on the low load. They've got the buckets there. She's just parked up there. Cows are enjoying their feed. Uh they've been fed for the morning. Calves as well. That shed will need mucked out now soon enough. Uh, probably next episode we'll muck that shed out and take the muck down to the Argyll field. That's going to be exciting because it is soaking down there. Or we'll just load the load up. I don't think there's much there. It might even be half a load. Um, but yeah. And also, our fat stock at the outer farm are nearly ready to go off to kill. Um, off to slaughter, sorry. So those those calves will be moved on to the outer farm and then our new fresh bone calves then will be put in there and same process again uh cows are enjoying there obviously the four that are out of there now that are in the calving shed clamp silence is going back we've got a nice face on that keeping the blade on the shear grab nice and sharp here we've got the 398 on the diet feed it's got half a load of silage in for this evening um so the old man was in here checking the lights because the lights the back lights don't work um and it's handy to have you know in, in case we have a call out one of our neighbors have broken down or they need us to go and feed their cows it's handy to have it's happened before where we need to go and help them out with their diet feeding um so yeah the lights aren't working so hopefully nothing's chewed our wires and it's just a loose connection or just a fact of changing a bulb or a loose bulb, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a look at that. But he was looking at that, but then this turned up. 
a Massey 8280 Extra that's been re-sprayed and sort of done up a bit um, is on a high spec 2300 gallon. So very similar to our high spec up there, but it is a bit smaller. And he's just going through our farm and uh, well, he's a good mate, uh, my dad. So he pulled in for a chat. Um, so yeah, he was tanking a bit of slurry from his outer farm uh to the main yard because there's more what's happened is i think there's more uh watery sort of slurry at the outer farm and he needs to bring it back to the out um to his main farm to mix with the thicker stuff so that's what he's doing today bit of a rainy sort of job um you know winter job going on he's just carting and decided to pull in on his way back uh on his probably last load i think he said but look our macler his 82 eight years absolute beaut of a machine and she is looking very tasty as you can see a uh, very nice machine i must give props to him for how well she looks um but yeah and she has some note off her like some note um he said he'd put a straight pipe on her but he was getting a lot of complaints about people complaining about the noise so i mean yeah but now nah, she sounds really nice i was hearing her when i was doing jobs around the farm I was hearing her going going past and I couldn't could not look like so. Yeah, but uh yeah. What a lovely little setup that is now. And an unusual sort of colour tanker to see of high spec, but a very nice colour, mint green. Um nonetheless. Here then we've just got a few bits parked up. We've got the McHale's, uh bell spikes, uh fence posts, bell spike, palatines, tires, whatever. There moving down on the road. We've got our 6.9. Yes, you may have seen a moved from the bill stack, which has been sitting there for three months. Um, yeah, we finally got it fixed. Yeah, it was a factor of getting a new battery. Spent about 200 quid on, on a new battery, but it's in now and should last us if we keep it going. Um, and yeah, we did go over with the Land Rover and flatbed to the outer farm where we had these fat tyres uh, that we when we bought the tractor they came with these tires but then i think a month after we bought a smaller set uh obviously for road work whatever um but yeah so but anyway the big tires are back on we've got a few jobs going on fencing jobs going on which is kind of nice because it was looking quite dead for our winter but now we've got some uh fen fencing um work to do for farmers probably ready for spring i'd say um yeah so we've got max in the driver loving the 69 uh probably one of his favorite tractors i think he said um so we put them on there this morning after feeding uh it took us probably about must have been about nearly two hours to put them on and take the other ones off and whatnot and uh, get her ready filled up with diesel and whatever so she's on the bryce sumo um post drive on the back and then the fencing really on the front with uh, two rolls of net. And then we've got a uh, barbed wire there as well. So, yeah. Tell me what you think of that setup. If you are a long-time viewer, you'd know uh, you'd know what this tractor would look like before uh, without them skinny tyres. But, yeah, she looks very fat. But I will admit, come springtime, uh, once the fencing's kind of slackened off a bit, the other tyres will be going back on because... I, I'm not looking forward to the day we have to replace these big tyres for another set of big tyres when they wear down or perish because the bill is going to be big. But anyway, yeah, let me know what you think of that. Then moving around here, you'd have seen last episode, we were on a job. The digger came back there um, about after lunchtime, about one o'clock. And the 3120 is just coming back now. Uh, we've got Farmer Bob driving her with the Herbs trailer and the Massey 3120 coming back uh, from that job. So, yeah, they looks like they're going to meet on the, on the junction there. Um, but, uh, yeah, what a mint setup. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of today's video. Uh, if you are new here, please subscribe, leave a like. Or even if you're not new and you're just watching the video, please do hit that thumbs up button. 
Of course, if you have any questions you want to ask me, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. I try to get back to every comment, but sometimes I do forget um, about comments. But I do reply in the end. So just send me a message if you've got any questions. Video suggestions you'd like to see. I know I was doing the conversion series and that's kind of gone away. But I do want to bring that back. I've just been really busy with other stuff. Uh, you'd seen there I wasn't uploading as much. Just been flat out. And I'm hoping now to get a few more conversions done now for 2023. Big plans in the books. So stay tuned for that. And as I said, if you are new, subscribe. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching for another little video. Not much going on, but I thought I'd film it anyway. Something a bit different. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.